Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're taking a look at a space game I just purchased on Steam because it was on sale and because it looked kind of interesting and I didn't know anything about it. This is called Scavenger SV4 and um, it seems to be possibly a space horror game, at least it was kind of hinted that there is something scary going on. I know nothing about it, I read nothing about it. Let's find out what it's all about and if it's worth keeping or if we should maybe consider refining it on Steam. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. And there's actually a character you can generate. Uh, I'm going to go with the female name is Jenny Dawson. Uh, that is this. She's purple. She um, is leading. I don't know what that means. We're just going to begin the game and see if this actually has any influence on our actual gameplay. Now, just like in the previous videos that I made on the channel, I basically went in knowing nothing about the game because I didn't want to get spoiled. I didn't want to have any preconceptions about what's going on. I didn't want to be biased, and so we're going to just find out by playing. Uh, am I floating? Oh, I'm floating like because there's no gravity, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, okay, so bunk terminal. Uh, there's a personal log. Do I need to read this? You can go through next logs, right? That's cool. You can interact with the screen here. Um, I'm not sure if I should be reading these. I'm going to, for now assume that I don't have to read them, mostly because I don't want to spoil it for those of you who want to play this by yourself. And there's actually a lot of reading, look at that, holy crap. Okay, so uh, back to menu. No, what? Uh, play, play Dungeon Road? What does that mean? Oh, it's a game within the game. It's a gameception, if you may. Okay, well, that looks like uh, it's a rogue-like, uh, right? In, is it like an RPG or something? Yeah, it's definitely a roguelike. All right, well, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, it's by pressing escape. So let's uh, see what's going on. There's a painting. And let's actually explore the ship a little bit. Uh, I'm assuming this is a ship. And see what we need to do. Oh, look at that. I actually got scared for a second thinking it was someone. It's not someone. It looks like my spacesuit. Although it does look very terrifying. Um, wear EVA suit. Oh, cool. All right. So we already have some interactable, um, computers here. This, this is actually good so far. Good so far. But you know, I've previously played some games where I was very thoroughly disappointed after initial impressions. Uh, there was one game that I played very recently where the first 15 minutes were great. And the next, uh, oh, that's cool. The next few hours were absolutely horrible. Um, Okay, so this is some sort of a medical area, right? Medibay? Cargo bay? Um, okay, I may have... I should have maybe read the log a little bit because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. There's a star nearby. It's a, possibly a white dwarf. Or possibly some sort of a white star. Lab empty. Place items in the lab to continue. Okay, that's really cool. So there's maybe research. Bridge. Oh, look at that. We're orbiting a planet, I think. Looks like a planet. Um, am I the only person on the ship, though? Looks like it. So, whoa, this is a beautiful planet. And you can actually mo move. I mean, you can see yourself moving around the planet, right? That's nice. I wonder if, we, if it completes the full orbit. Um, establish communication with Link Rover. Oh, no, communication link with rover, launch rover, examine rover, survey map data, exit orbit, and end the expedition. Huh. Okay, so this is kind of what I actually saw on Steam, and I try not to look in too much into it, but I think there's going to be, like, rover explore exploration here. Um, but let's, let's do this in a few seconds. Let's actually see what else there is on the ship first. Because I don't know. Oh, it's a bathroom. Cool, space bathroom. You know, you don't see this very often. I don't think... I've been here before, right? Oh, we started here. Um, I don't think there's many space games I know that have bathrooms. Although this is this one doesn't open, I think. Right? Can you open if I want to go? If I really have to go? If I really, really, really? Nope. Okay. So we came from there. Uh, I mean, we went there first time. Now, another medical bay. Okay. Oh, it's the same place. Okay. And then this this last door we didn't open yet. We're, what's in here? Engineering. Ah, of course. This is cool so far. 
Very, very cool. Use terminals. Oh, it's really loud here. Um, Omega Centauri. System overview. Storage panel currently rebooting. Radiation level exceeds safe maximum. That's not good. What does door override do? Oh, okay. I can control doors here. Cargo. Very interesting. Consumables. There is that bathroom. Um, oh, interesting. So I guess there's resources in this game that might need to be replenished. We have engines. That's cool. Um, wow. So far, this is pretty impressive in terms of realism, at least. A rover garage. Uh, okay. What's in here? What do I do here? Why are there so many lockers? I thought I'm the only person here. Um, what does this do? Nothing. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So my rover is on the planet right now, right? Let's go. Let's go play with the rover. Let's let's find out what this is, is all about. And um, I think this is actually where where we need to go anyway. So now what we're going to do is it's in cargo bay. Okay, uh, I can launch it. Examine rover serving map data. Okay, there's no obviously there's no uh, map data. Let's launch it. Yeah. Do I get to see how it's how it's done? Do I get to see it land? Maybe? No? Oh, I thought there would be something. Rover st status deorbiting. Where? I don't see, I don't see it. I want to see it deorbit. Okay. Oh, maybe what, something over there. There was some kind of a light. No, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's just my spacecraft. All right. Well, I guess, uh, Wait, re-entering? Re-entering what? Oh, re-entering atmosphere, right? Okay, so I guess we need to... Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so you get to see the actual... Um, the actual re-entry, right? We have a turret. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Wow. It's almost like the... Um, that video that I posted on, on the channel years ago that... Even today, people think it's a fake. There's this uh, video NASA made of the actual landing of uh, the Huygens probe on Titan. And it kind of looks like this, actually. Well, maybe not as... Uh, actually, it's a little better than this. Um, and it was a mission from the Cassini uh, Huygens mission, essentially. And even today, people think, oh, not think, but there's comments in, in the, underneath the video that basically say, oh, it's fake. NASA cheated us again, just like the moon landing. And I always laugh at those comments. Because it is actually literally as true as it is. It's a very real video that NASA produced. Okay, object nearby. So, what do I do? Do I shoot? Oh, oh, well, that's cool. Wait, turret as in like shooting turret or... What what does it what does the turret do? Hmm. Okay, I should have I should have read about how to control this. Okay, so um, I'm guessing my job. Oh, there's a charge here as well. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm draining the energy when I'm moving around. It says object nearby. What what object? What is this? <gasps> oh. Oh, that's so cool. I did something. I think I picked something up. And now I guess I can maybe pick it up and take it back to my ship and then study it? Is this is this how things are? Is this what's going to happen here? Okay. Wow, so far this is really not what I expected at all. This is really cool. Wait a second. This is some sort of a broken spaceship or something. Wow, this kind of reminds me of the ship from the f the first Alien, the original one. Is this what's going to happen here? Am I going to sense computer offline, reboot via engineering? What do you mean? What's offline? What science computer? Are you saying I have to go to engineering to reboot the computer? But that's so much work. 
Okay, let's just let's just deal with this later. Okay, there's something over here. I really hope I don't pick up some sort of alien egg that ends up attaching your, itself to my face. So, okay, so I'm guessing I'm exploring some sort of ruins of civilization or something. Okay. So, I cannot do anything. Why not? Oh, here we go. I had to come closer. So, let's pick up everything we can. And then we'll deal with that science failure thingy later on. And also, meanwhile, let's maybe explore this planet a little bit more. There, there seem to be a lot more of these ruins around. Um, it's kind of hard to see things, obviously, because the camera on this thing is not super high quality. But I really wonder what the turret is for. I'm guessing shooting, right? But I'm also guessing I don't know how to control it. Okay, let's pick this up. Some sort of a crystal thing here. I don't really know what this is for. Um, also, still not entirely sure what I'm picking up, but I guess we'll find out when we bring the rover back home. Um, wow, my charge here is draining pretty quickly. Um, is there a limit to how much I can actually pick up? I wonder if there's a way to find out. Oh, wait a second, I can do this. Turn off power control. Wow, that's cool. So all of these are actually things I can do. Oh, and I can also assign different things to different windows, right? Oh, look at that. Huh. Okay. I don't really know if I need this here, though. Oh, okay. So I, I do have a limit. It says my inventory is full. So now I guess we're going to be returning back. And it sounds like that's all I could do here. I could pick up those three objects. I don't know if there's any difference. So we'll find out as soon as we return back to the ship. Let's recall our probe. And look at that, we're basically taking off. And re-docking with the ship, I'm guessing. Um, so let's see how this looks like from the probe, because that's something that I missed from the ship. It'd be inter interesting to see if we actually get to see the docking procedure here. Oh, look at that, we escaped the planet, and look, that, yeah, there you go, there's our ship. That's awesome. Whoa, that's pretty cool. So you do get to see the docking procedure. Um, I guess the quality of camera could be a little bit better, but I think that's kind of me. Uh, that's kind of done on purpose. It has this like VHS sort of like effect, because that's the atmosphere it's going for. Um, but uh, I still don't entirely know what our mission here is. We're gonna assume it's exploration and oh, that's so cool. Uh, exploration and uh, and research. Okay, so we can now exit the link, right? Examine rover and survey map. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Unidentified planet at Corians. Okay. Um, so let's go, let's go see what we picked up. And also, I think we need to reboot this part right here, right? Yeah, there we go. Force reboot. What, what is this again? Uh, science. Science lab is a self-contained research facility. Ah, uh, so, okay. Something happened to it and it needs to be rebooted. Um, let's see if this worked. This is, this is kind of interesting so far. It actually reminds me a little bit of that game I recently took a look at um, that was called Objects in Space that had very, very realistic spaceship um, controls. But maybe a little bit more hands-on, a little bit more detailed. So, did that work? Or yeah, okay, it worked. Perfect. So now I can actually... Oh, oops. That's not what I wanted. Return the game. Now we can actually go and see what we picked up from the planet, right? Wh where did it go? Is it here? Rover to garage. Okay. Something's happening. Something's being moved. There it is. Oh, there you are. That's what you look like. You're pretty big. And really creepy looking, actually. So, what do I do to you? What do I do with you? What am I going to pick up here? So, I guess I can up upgrade my rover using various items here. Um, obviously, we don't really know what they are yet. Um, but there is a way for us to... Uh, possibly uh, upgrade our power and possibly give ourselves some weapons if we need them. Um, for now, though, let's see what we need to do to get those items. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it had to be in this area. Now I get it. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I basically had to move the rover back into this storage facility, which is right next to the science lab. And now we have these three unknown things here. That's what we picked up. So we need to do this, right? Yeah, just drag and drop them. Okay, perfect. And following this, we can now take these items. There they are in our science lab. Uh, and I guess we can now do some research on them. Okay, so how does this work? Do I just click on it? Research. Okay, that's pretty quick. Insufficient data for any assessment. Further research required. Uh, initial research determined this device contains mirrored surfaces and precisely figured lenses. Preliminary conjecture, device is optical in nature. Is this automatic? Can I just walk away from here? Maybe? Oh, okay, further research. So, oh, it's a laser. Um, object is a laser. Oh, that's really cool. There's like multi... Yeah, I can definitely walk away from here. It's a multi-level uh, research. And it's all automatic. So I'm going to just click this research all button here. And now what I'm going to do is uh, launch the uh, rover again. And have it pick up some more stuff. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Almost like 1980... Uh, version of computers, their vision of computers back then. Okay, so uh, we can now launch the rover again, and now we can actually see what, how it looks like from this side as it's being launched from the ship. Great. Let's actually move our turret a little bit. Look at that, we're leaving the ship. So cool. All right, so um, so far this game is a lot more impressive than I thought. Um, now, obviously, we don't really know just yet uh, what the main purpose of this is, mostly because I did not read any of the um, uh, logs, I guess. But I'm sure there's a mission here. I'm sure there's actually a story. And we're going to discover this really soon. But first, let's watch uh, the re-entry. Okay, so we have our first research complete. Uh, re-entry of our spaceship into the planet again. And let's see if there's actually any uh, kind of, I guess, monsters or something that this game may have. Because we do have weapons, right? Oh, so the second item we research is a storage battery. Um, okay, that's perfect. There's an object nearby that I didn't pick up last time. And let's collect it. Where, where is it? Which side is it on? This side? Um, and we have one item to go. The first one was some sort of a laser, infrared laser, I believe. And the third item is going to be something else. And the items we picked up the first time were this laser here, which um, I believe is a weapon, actually. Uh, it has some cost here, so I guess we can sell things. This is a video camera um, capable of operating in visible light spectrum, specifically at 500 nanometers. Um, and we have a, a storage battery. Okay, that's interesting. So I guess what we'll do now if we can actually, uh, can we can we pick these up? Uh, well, there we go. So we can actually move these to garage now, because I I would like to install the laser and maybe the video camera on the rover just to see the difference. And now we also have three new items I picked up. Uh, nothing eventful actually happened. Uh, it was just basically the same uh, ruins, and I just kind of picked up random items there. But let's find out what they are by doing some research. And also, let's find out if we can maybe, maybe, install this laser on the rover just to see what it looks like. And turns out this battery is actually much worse than what I currently have, and so is the video camera, I think. So we might need to find a way to sell them. I am going to install the laser, though. It does sound pretty cool. Um, and I think what we're going to do is just wait a little bit until the research is complete, but also... Uh, meanwhile, what I want to do is do one thing I haven't done just yet. I want to uh, use the um, EVA suit to go outside and see what that's like. So let's actually find out if we can maybe, just maybe, wear the EVA suit and then go outside the spacecraft and basically fly around in uh, open space. Oh, that's different. Okay. Now, just to be nice, we're going to close the door. And now... Oh, okay. I should have maybe de uh, depressurized my uh, my area first. But look at that. We can actually 
go into open space. That's really awesome. Okay, so so far this game definitely um, doesn't just meet my expectations, but beats them by a margin. I really love the realism so far. Uh, graphically, it's obviously very simple. Uh, this is an indie game, and uh, obviously it's not going to have triple A budget to create amazing graphics. Um, there's also almost no music here. As a matter of fact, there's sounds, sound effects, but the only music I heard was actually only in the beginning of the game. Um, uh, basically, the title screen. Now, can I actually open this yet? I'm gonna say yes. Okay, perfect. Um, now, what do I do? A story VA. All right, and uh, so that, that was interesting, different, definitely different. Um, there's only one other game I can think of that actually allowed me to do that before. It's a, um, it's a multiplayer game called Helion. I, I tried it on the channel a few times. It's still in early access though, so I don't really know if they're going to finish it anytime soon. Um, but let's discover what we found on the planet the last time we went there. So we have a still camera. We have a flamethrower, which I guess is also a weapon. And lastly, a flash emitter um, that basically just emits light, right? I don't know what this is for, uh, but sounds like we can make some money with these um, items. Although now what we have to do is we have to go and try our new newly acquired laser. So let's um, let's get down to... Whoa, okay. I was gonna say, let's get down to the surface and try it, but... Uh, uh, did I just destroy my ship? I may have just destroyed my ship. Oh no, <laughs> epilogue. Um, whether via suicidal intention or reckless experimentation, um, Jamie Dawson fired upon Omega Centauri with an alien weapon system recovered from the planet's surface. Okay, it's an instantaneous death. That's incredible and also very stupid of me to do this. I actually just wanted to see if it works. As soon as I left the ship, I basically just fired the laser. And um, yeah, so you can die in this game and you can definitely destroy your ship using alien lasers. All right, so very quickly, let me go through this one more time because I want to see what happens when you leave the planet as well. And um, yeah, looks like this game is procedurally generated because I have a new statue actually and new paintings and new planet, this time on the right side of my ship. So if you're going to buy this game, don't make my mistakes. Do not destroy your ship using the lasers. Um, that was cool though. I, I gotta say, this was really awesome. So did I actually, did everything change? Yeah, I guess I lost all my progress and everything is new now, right? Uh, so one thing I want to see is if the planet actually changed on the surface as well. So let's do that. Let's, um, okay. So all in all, the planet kind of looks similar to the previous one. Uh, there seem to be some ruins here and there. Um, I guess we're going to be doing the same thing, right? Picking up different stuff. Um, so in that sense, I guess the game doesn't really change, but let's pick up three things and let's leave the actual orbit. Um, but it's, it's really awesome how there is so much realism put into this game so many little details i had no idea i could destroy my ship by firing the laser i mean it makes sense right but i had no idea it's going to be able uh, to just explode there i thought maybe i'll fire a pew pew into the space into the abyss of darkness but that's kind of not what happened it ended up completely exploding my ship and lastly let's uh click on this one button that we didn't really get to click on yet exit orbit and end the expedition uh, an organized planet, uh, Megadon Station. Okay. Oh, there is even Delta V here. Interesting. So we can we can go to a new location, and it has a transit time. The sense of the expedition and cannot be undone. Okay, confirm course. How about no? Yeah. Okay. And yes. Brace for thrust. All right. So, looks like we are going to be traveling to a new planetary location. It's a little bit more dramatic than I thought it would be, actually. Uh, and now... Huh, another epilogue. And this time it actually tells me that... Well, essentially I collected about 9,000 worth of credits. 
and she ends by saying, let some other idiot kill themselves gawking. Uh, she lived to tell her tale. Oh. Okay. And then there's a high score. All right, so having played a little bit more behind the scenes here, I'm gonna tell you what's going on and how this game works. Basically, this is a summary of what's happening here. Let's launch another rover. Um, so essentially, this is a roguelike game, just like the mini game we played before. Uh, and in this particular game, um, every character has this one chance of landing on the planet here, uh, which is somewhere there, I guess, uh, that planet this time. And um, every single time it's completely randomly generated. Um, the surface here is uh, pretty much always different. It's also procedurally generated. The items are always procedurally generated. And so far, I actually haven't really discovered any dangers after playing this a few times. But um, having also explored this a little bit more, I realized that there's gotta be enemies for sure. And so we're gonna try to find them right now. Um, I also realized that if you stay in this orbit really, really long, as I did in one of my previous games, you actually start experiencing a lot of radiation. So there's actually resources here. There's like things like nutrition, there's um, uh, air quality and so on. But it's the radiation levels that are the most deadly. And um, you have to basically get out of the system before you es essentially poison yourself, uh, before you get radiation poisoning. Now, the enemies I haven't seen yet, and from what I understand, because it's a procedurally generated games, the enemies are also procedurally generated. And so on some planets, like on the previous ones, I guess, either there are no enemies, or I guess maybe they are there somewhere, but really far away, or um, they're just different types of enemies. So let's, let's uh, right now go and find one. We don't have anything to fire upon them though. I didn't really get a weapon just yet, uh, but let's see what enemies look like. Oh, there we go. Someone is firing at us right now. I can hear it. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh oh, where is it? Oh, it's this thing. Whoa, it's electrical. What is it doing? Okay, that's maybe not an enemy. That's maybe just a crazy tree. Um, one of my friends who played this game quite extensively told me that um, well, he didn't want to spoil it for me. So he basically said that there are all sorts of enemies here that you're going to discover. But most importantly, there are some crazy mysteries that you can uncover in some of your playthroughs that might be brought back onto your spaceship without you realizing. Oh, look at this pyramid. That's pretty crazy. He didn't want to spoil it for me. And he said, um, I just don't want you to know. Just play and find out. But apparently there is some stuff that you can accidentally pick up that can cause some serious troubles. Uh, all in all though, so here's my thoughts, my final thought about this game so far. It is very unique, very, very niche, very original and extremely, extremely, um, I would say fun in short bursts. I would definitely um, buy this game. If you are kind of a person that likes to come back home for an hour or two, play a game and then finish it and then move on with your life. This is not a game for people who uh, like extensive storylines or for people who uh, want to basically follow a long progression. Here, you can literally start and finish the whole game in like an hour maximum. Maybe two hours if you decide to explore a lot more. But as I mentioned before, as you explore the planet longer and longer, you know your actual character in space is experiencing radiation poisoning. And so, uh, um, at the end of every game I've played so far... Oh, there, there's the enemy. Look at that. Yep, we found one. And apparently they can also disable my... Uh, they can actually disable my... Uh, someone else is firing from there. Uh, my equipment. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, that's not cool. Recall, 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 recall. Let's get out of here. Alright, yeah. Good enough. So we saw some enemies. But anyway, long story short... Um, you can finish all, everything in two hours, but you'll always have two things happening. First of all, you always keep gaining um, more and more radiation poisoning, so you actually have to, at some point, go and heal yourself. But even that won't help, because it becomes a problem later on. At the end of the game, um, if you actually die in, in the process of transferring to another planet, you lose a lot of score. So this is a score-based game. You, you kind of want to try to get as high of a score as possible. Um, on the other hand... 
every planet here um, essentially has quite a lot of mysteries to discover, so it is kind of like a mini game where you discover the story by playing through it within, I guess, a couple of hours. And there's my rover, he's back. Um, so there's definitely a lot of replayability here and a lot of chances for you to, uh, well, I guess, uncover what is actually happening here because the story is there, but you have to uncover it as you play through because you kind of discover about the ruins, you discover about the aliens that are there, who, who the ro robots are and so on. Uh, but it's not given to you on a platter, you have to actually play through to find out. But if you want a long game where, you know, there's a storyline, a progression uh, that always follows you throughout the entire um, game, that's probably not for you. This is definitely a roguelike, this is more like a game like FTL that you sit down, play a little bit, and then try and try again. Um, so, I kind of like it. I'm actually keeping this. This is in my book. Uh, one of the more original space games out there. I don't actually think I've played anything else like it. This is, to me, at least much more fun than FTL. Um, and so, for the price that I bought it, uh, or paid for it, uh, it's totally a keeper. Other than that, I think that's all I'm gonna say about a Scavenger SV4. On this note, let's go and find out what happens if you open a door to your airlock without using anything. Yep, as I thought. You basically die in space, right? I wonder if this is going to be considered as uh, an accident. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I can't really move or do anything though. Anyway, so on that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and do give this game a try. It's actually really, really awesome. Not what I expected. Um, definitely worth the money they're asking for it. And I really hope they introduce uh, maybe other features, including maybe even a longer playthrough with actual storyline. Whoa, I got a score that's slightly higher than my, than my first score. But this is how I'm going to end this last game here, uh, with my character Ayasha Lewis, whose final moments were spent gasping desperately, though entirely uselessly, in hard vacuum. Really cool game, uh, I kind of like this flavor they added at the end with every different story ending in kind of different ways. And uh, the score itself I don't really care about, but I do want to find out more about the actual storyline here. And anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with someone who enjoys learning about space through video games. And maybe come back to see another space game that I try in the future. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.